We'll see you. We'll see you. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Have to do that first. Have to do that first. Shades then. <laughs> Major. If I would ever say that name, Kadish, I would say it the same way. Moish. I'm telling him. Big tune. This is uh, Moish. What is this? What's the name of this one, Kad? Sorry, man. I know what I said. Oh, I see. Yes. I don't know what you're going to cut, man. It's not, man. That's why it's not. All right. Yeah, yeah. I feel a lot of snapping going on in here. I want to say thank you very much for. Uh, Legendary Mr. Malcolm Hyde. Ladies and gentlemen, inside the studio, it is our pleasure to have all the way from across the water, the beautiful and multi-talented Miss Moish. Please give her a yes. Uh -huh. You all right? Yeah, definitely. Give thanks so much. I must give thanks to his Imperial Majesty, Haile Selassie. Respect, yes. respect. I said that to Kimani in the ground. Yes. Uh -huh. So tell me something now. Khadija has been telling me about you for a while. Oh, yeah? so Steve, said there's a singer that I'm in link with and she sound good, and we play the song, and it sounded good, but he said, Steve, it look good, too. <laughs> and I said, no, man, you can't. Yes, I said, you can't have singers where it sound good and look good, too. That they're like, God, they give you too much blessing. <laughs> yes, man, but yes, she was right. You look very nice. You look very nice. Thank you very much. So tell me something. Um, how long have you been in Belize? Well, I've been in Belize for about four days now. Uh -huh. Just a couple days. How you like it? Well, the vibe is nice, to be honest. Um, it reminds me a lot of Jamaica. It, really? You know, a lot, yeah. What are the one thing where we don't got that Belize way, they got that Jamaica way? <laughs> yeah, uh-huh. We not like still, the food of Jamaica kind of interesting. still. What? 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 Oh, we want to quarry. Nice. Yes. We yeah, were. Yeah, you know, so you don't know, so me used to the, the banana and them type of food, but it's in Belize, My but God. I tried it because I, I actually found a Jamaican restaurant, you know, so. Yeah. Yeah, but you don't know. It, you ever try one hudut? We got one thing where we make with name hudut. And hudut that make with plantains. <laughs> Green and turn plantain mm -hmm. with a fish tea. You know what a fish tea? Yeah, we know fish tea. All right, good. And I, that, that I put that up. No, tell me something. We, what are your, what are the meal where you eat that Jamaica where you say, all right, this is the one. If I come to Belize and I have to bring something that Belize make, they say, watch out. This is how we do it. What would it be? Um, definitely, I'm gonna tell you about my tofu and aki. Uh -huh. <laughs> I love that. Tofu, you know, and aki is, yeah, tofu and aki is nice. I yeah. love it. I, I, we got aki tree in my yard, uh, village. You know, I live that aki tree. Yeah. We got aki right there. I know, I know where the aki you have to do all kind of thing, but if you eat it, because it could kill you. No, you have to make sure it's ready. Aki tree could kill you. Yeah, you know how you, you know, you, you're not supposed to force it to open. It's supposed to naturally open, and then you just. You cut the seed and then you cut the big thing out of it and then you wash it and cook it. That's like the date one 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 woman make with beat you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, definitely. Uh -huh. definitely. So, the whole long you been in the music? Well, professionally, I've been in the music from 2008 uh -huh. up to now. Really? But I've been singing from I was about seven, mm -hmm. growing up in church. Yeah. Yes, definitely. I was one of them favorite every Saturday. Who are some of your inspirations? Who are some of the people you look for and say, I don't want to... Yeah. Slap a lunch, you first. Joe, you look way better than Sizzla, man. Come on. Sizzla a lunch, you definitely have Cable Town, you have Bujo. Yeah. I mean, a whole lot of them. Yeah. Just naming a few, but I mean, my main inspiration is from His Imperial Majesty, oh. in the King Selassie. Yeah. Right and you know, definitely we have to talk about Bob Marley, too. And I read Michael Jackson for his music and all of that. So, Who that? Care about. Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson. Yes. My girl, give me a come on, give me a book right there. <laughs> give me a book. Because you talking about Michael Jackson, <laughs> as you as you mentioned in here. Yes. A lot of people like Michael, you know. But we have a lot of man like Malcolm right there. What it all that? It's so hard for go out there and say, yo, my boy, he like the man, you know. <laughs> yes, <laughs> they like the undercover. Yeah, yeah but yeah, the man is sharp, the man is sharp. As yeah, far as Bob Marley, um, we had two eye sons that believe. I don't want to draw names, but we had two eye sons that believe here the past couple of weeks. Came on here, they man me there. You got to meet them. Yeah, yes, mm -hmm. thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yes, when I when I when I came here and I was at the park, uh -huh. people were actually asking me if I'm here, if I'm here from the junior gang show because the feedback from everyone is great. Yeah. They're telling me that the show sold out. I'm like, telling yes. Wow. Yeah. So tell me something now. Who do you think someone more like Bob Marley? Um, Damien, Steven, Ziggy, 
Uh, Kimani? Repeat the question. Who is someone more like Bob? Oh, sound. Yeah. Um, me, I have, you think so? Yeah. I, I actually think uh, between Steven and Ziggy for real. Yeah, both of them. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Kat, who do you think? I don't know. I, I like all of them, but I just like how um, Damien does his own thing. You know, he smooth it out just a little bit more. Yeah. Because, you, know, you know, Bob have that tough reggae. Yeah, man. He kind of smooth it out more. Bob the roots. Bob the roots. I think that um, I think Kimani that more down to earth one. Yeah. I think yeah. Damian more into the rebel. I, 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 junior, I had yeah, gone. The 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 the, the, the yeah, 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 I'm more the rebel one, man. I don't know how to really term it, but um, I think he he militant. More, yeah, militant. yeah, that's the word. Militant. militant. He that one I don't want me would have never say he like yeah. Michael Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> Kimani might say it, but Damian. <laughs> yeah. So um, what? Reggae has been the, the one genre that you've stayed in since you got into the industry? Yes. Yeah, reggae, yeah. I feel that. Yeah, I love reggae because yeah. I love um the live drop, run mm -hmm. drop rhythms. Yeah. Yeah, they are my favorites. All I right. love them. Yeah. And, and the message that, um, do you see yourself as an artist that, do you see like it's your responsibility to be putting out good message or you just vibes about what you're feeling or <laughs> how it works? It's my responsibility. I like that, yeah. It's you know. mine because um, music is very influential and the artist behind the music is also is very influential so I take it my point of duty to make sure what I put out there can uplift everybody and um, the, the children can also listen to Moish, the old lady can listen to Moish, yeah. so, you know, once the children can listen and the old lady can listen, everybody can listen. Yes, I, like, I like that because a lot of artists nowadays, they make music and they don't really think yes. about the amount of people that would be exposed to it. Yes. Now when you, when you sit down to write a song, how does that come about? Is it the music that comes first? Is it some killer lyrics come in your head and say, yo, I gotta drop something for this or how how that work? Um, it all depends on the rhythm because mm -hmm. some I don't really write my songs and um put them down mm -hmm. because sometimes I might get a rhythm and when I change the flow yeah. to fit that rhythm, if I'm supposed to sing the song without the rhythm, I get a different flow. Yeah. So to avoid that confusion, um I mostly like have like the chorus. I might build that record on the phone or I might write it, put it one side and then if when I get the rhythm, if I remember it, uh -huh. I just go for it. But so most of the times, especially for live rhythms, because you know we have the computer rhythms and exactly. some of them are very yeah. good. You know? mm -hmm. So for the live rhythms, most times I just listen and just vibe. Right. And sometimes, because I'm not really much of a person who writes a lot of love songs. Mm -hmm. So those songs come less uh -huh. to my mind. Yeah. So the, the, the fiery type of songs are the songs that always just come to my mind. But when you got the fiery type of songs, you still need some song about your lion. You still yeah, need yeah, 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 I do lion. that, I do uh -huh. that, but it, it, it's seasonal. Seasonal, right. yeah, 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 yes. <laughs> All right, so, um, this, um, introduce the one that's playing now. Tell us a little bit about that and uh, make we listen to that. That is our 9 to 5? No, no deal. Oh, no deal. No deal. Oh, no deal. Sure. Make, make, hold on, make I say. I had a figure that some, somebody come up to you with a sweet talking and proposition and thing and you are telling what you're my boy. Move out. No deal. <laughs> <laughs> right? Well, I mean, most of my song titles, people always have the, the wrong uh -huh. because of the title yeah. sometimes they try to think of connecting it in relationships okay. that's what i realized okay, they try to tell me say i wrong that's right. <laughs> yeah. so no deal no is this um basically i was doing a research on a lot of things that mm -hmm. is happening in the world yeah the whole buffer me type of thing mm -hmm. um a lot of things yeah. And um, I just got the rhythm from a producer in St. Elizabeth. That's where I was born also. Really? In Jamaica. 